Hello and good morning world. Thank you for joining me yet again for another workout. My name is Sarah Sharman and I'll be leading you through this session today. I mean, I'm the only one here, we're in isolation, so obviously it's going to be me. Uh, today for class we need a few props. So, if you do not have ooh, a Pilates ball, just grab a few cushions, okay? And then also, we will need a TheraBand. If you've not got one of these, just a piece of cloth. I've got a bandana here, tea towel, hand towel, anything like that, okay? Marvellous. Now, if you're working with any injuries, please listen to your body, do what you can do. Do not push yourself to the point where you're going to hurt yourself, okay? So only you know your bodies. But this should be a nice, uh, relaxing class as we work into the joints and explore our limbs, okay? Now, let me play some music. We're going to be seated throughout most of the class, so make sure you've got space around you. We will be swinging our legs about, okay? So come sitting on the floor. Try and enjoy my little sunlight there. Nice and tall, have the cloth nearby. Hopefully you've all got all your props with you. Take your hands behind your hips. Sit nice and tall, push the sit bones into the floor. We're just wriggling the toes. Hopefully you can see my toes there. Just give them a nice little wriggle. Explore and spread in, crunching up. Excellent, now start to point the toes and then flex. Point, really go through the bones there and flex through the metatarsals and stretch. Our belly button is pulled in, our chest is nice and open. Give me four more. Naughty toes, good toes. Excellent, one more. Turn the feet out into a little V-shape and do the same here. Make sure you've got those sit bones, a fleshy bum pull to the side. Three more. Excellent. Draw the feet together. Bend the knees in. And take your little tea towel or cloth, place it under your feet. We're just going to scrunch the cloth in. Ooh. Come on, cloth. Keep that chest lifted. It's taken me a long time to get this in. And then you push it away. Okay. This is a killer on the feet, but it will help when we're able to get our heels on and head out. Okay, and push. One more. Scrunch the cloth in. Really grab it with your toes as if they're acting as hands. Come on, and then push away. Excellent. Let's just scrunch it back in. And then we can pop that to the side. We'll be coming back to the cloth very soon. Okay, extend the feet out. Turn the toes out, heels together. Push through the hands and the sit bones. We bend the knees in, extend away. This might be easier on the laminate flooring. So we're opening those hips. Those knees go to the side. As we extend the feet out, we sit nice and tall. Good morning, everyone. Use 
use that breath to guide the movement. Two more. Okay, this time we bring the knees in, heels forward, curve over, bring those arms in front, sit tall, curve over, roll up the spine, sit tall, you can rest the arms on the knees, keep those shoulders down and away from the ears. Three more, curve over. Exhale. One more. Excellent. Take the hands back behind you. We're just going to lean back into the hands, drop the knees a bit more to the side. We're pushing into the chest, lift the chin slightly, soften, look towards the tummy, push up, squeeze the shoulders behind, and down, lift the chest, suck the belly button and look towards the tummy, four more. Last one, lift up, inhale, exhale down, extend the feet away, sit nice and tall in the body, now arms out by the side, hopefully you can all see me, point the toes, we're going to lift the right leg off the ground, suck that belly button in, same leg, lift up and down, two more. If it's just a few millimetres off the floor, that's fine. You're still activating the muscle there. Change legs. Try and stay sitting tall. Push the sit bones into the floor. Fingertips are active. They're grounding you. Give you that little tripod. One more. Excellent. Now we just slide the knees into the chest and away. Slide them in and out. Still practicing sitting tall. No one should have collapsed in the body. We're nice and erect. In and out. Two more. Now with the knees going out to the side, heels pressing together. Two more, and one, excellent, pick up the right knee, hug it in towards the chest, excellent, turn the knee out to the side, take hold of underneath the foot, and just rock your leg side to side, still pushing through those hip bones, seat bones rather. Okay, change legs, pick up the left, squeeze it in, lift that chest higher, turn the knee out, just rock the leg side to side. Sit tall. Excellent, place the foot down. Now let's get hold of that tea towel or hand towel. Cross the legs. <laughs> Sit nice and tall. Take the cloth out in front of you. Hold it nice and wide. We're lifting the arms up and down. Just freeing up the shoulders. Suck the belly button in neck nice and long, 
shoulders staying still, just moving the arms in that socket. Three, two, last one, one, excellent. Now bring the cloth towards your chest, elbows out to the side, we're drawing a circle, row, row, row your boat. That was a different lifetime ago when we could go rowing, wasn't it? <laughs> Three, two, one, reverse the row, so pushing away, drawing it in, push away, up and in. Woo, my arms want to shake, I hope yours are too. Three, two, one, excellent, take the arms above, we're sliding the cloth behind our head, squeeze the elbows into the ribs, rise the arms up and down, oh talking about rising up, look at my t-shirt courtesy of Rise Athletics, check them out on the old internet, social media, it's an old school friends company, three more, Three, two, one. Okay, release the cloth. Our feet are extended, legs straight out in front. Arms pulling onto the cloth and we're twisting to the side. Twist, twist. Three twists come centre. Push the sit bones into the floor. Take it to the other side. Flex those feet and to the first side. Really squeeze that air out as you ring your spine. And one more each side. Excellent. Lower the arms. Just shrug out the shoulders a little. Excellent. We can dismiss the cloth. We're going to come lying on to our sides. Are we? No. We're going to come lying on our backs. Right. Taking arm circles here. Feet are hip width apart. Spine is nice and neutral. Try and keep that connection, that belly button slightly pulled in. There's no space under your back here. We float the arms up and then bring them back down to your side. Really use that breath. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Last one. Excellent. Take the arms above, open them out to the side. Draw them to your hips. And up. Full big circles. Two more. And last one in this direction. Excellent. Reverse. No tension anywhere. The hips are soft. The feet are soft. The jaw is soft. One more. Excellent. Okay, keep your arms wide by the side. Make sure you're not going to knock anything down. This sunshine is glorious. Sorry. Okay. We're going to swing the right leg over to the left. 
Try and keep that back, the shoulders on the ground. Draw that right leg in, twist the hips round, send the left leg over to the other side. I've just got a nice clonk in my back. Twist, swing the legs, just find that freedom. Woo! Use that breath. Is everyone okay over there? Yes, good job. Just a few more here. Three, two, one. Excellent. Draw the knees up. Take both knees over to the left side. We're circling that backhand down along the floor. Open the chest. So now we're doing one arm circle stroking the floor circling it round twist that back open one more this side excellent then we roll over to the other side, circle round. So one arm's in front and one arm is doing the full movement round. So we're going to line ourselves up onto our side. So just take that underneath arm, under your head. Hips are stacked, ribs are stacked, belly button pulled in. We're circling the leg, forward, up and round. So just trying to find that freedom in the hip. Push into that top hand just to help keep the body still as the leg is working. One more circle here and reverse. Give me five the other direction. Excellent. Draw the knee into the chest. Extend away. Into the chest. Extend away. Three more. So that leg stay in hip level as it goes out. <clears throat> Excellent. Lower the leg. Draw the knees together. Roll over onto the other side. Let me just check if there's any questions coming in. Excellent. Good job, team. <laughs> well done, everyone. Okay, so it's the leg circles. Circle it five one way. Trying to keep that torso still, that belly button sucked in. Excellent. Reverse the direction. Three, four, five. Excellent. Okay, team. So stay lying on your side. We're drawing the knee into the chest. Extend away. Into the chest. Extend away. Three more. So these videos will be saved on here if you want to come back later. If you're on Instagram, they'll be here for an hour. If you're on Facebook, I'll save it to my page. 
and I'll also upload to my YouTube channel. Excellent. Okay. Bring the knees in. Stay lying on your back. I'm just going to turn myself around the other way. We're drawing both knees in. We open out the legs as if we're fanning little split split air. Uh, split kicks, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So left leg goes up and then the right leg joins it. We actually go to the one side. Right leg, left leg, roll over to the other side. So one leg leads and the other one follows. Belly button sucked in. So the knees are soft at the moment. Just feel as the hips connect to the floor. So at one stage, both, you're lying flat, both hips are touching. Excellent. Now let's extend the legs. Draw the leg towards the body as if you're trying to skim your nose. So this time it comes towards the body as they flip over to the other side. Try and keep that tailbone long. The legs are stretched. Excellent. Give me one more. Okay. Draw both knees into the chest. Flex the feet, spread the toes. Point them down, lower the feet onto the floor. Your back is still touching, no arch. Chest, relax, shoulders pressing into the floor. We're lifting our toes into the air as the heels press into the floor. Lift the toes and down. So strengthen your ankles. And you'll feel this in the thighs as well. So lift the toes as if you're tapping your feet, but nice and slow. Suck the belly button in. Four, three, two, one. Lower the feet down. Just bring the heels closer towards the bum. This time we're lifting the heels up, pressing into the toes, and down. Lift up, and down. Press that lower spine into the mat. Make sure you're not rolling onto the little toes and you're pushing towards the big toes and the ball of your feet. Four more. Four. Three, two, one. Okay, now roll the ankles, little circles. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And reverse. Excellent, okay. Let me just check my notes. All right, so we're keeping the knees in as we work onto the hips here. So just lift the hips up, pubic bone goes towards the ceiling. You're pressing that lower back into the mat. Come back down, press up and down. So tilting forward and back. I'm gonna get a lovely tan line here. Up and down. Just concentrate on isolating the hips. There will be some pressure in the feet as you lift the pubic bone up. Three more. Two. One. Okay, now we're going to wriggle side to side. So those hips are going left to right.
keep going team wiggle hips hips that's what they're doing on the floor excellent hey hey everyone <laughs> Okay, now this time we're going to take a full rotation. So circle the hips round. If any of your family are watching you, they might be thinking this looks weird. But you know what? It feels good. Rotate it round and the other way. So you'll draw it a little circle. Like on your coccyx. Try to think of a way to describe it. Okie dokie. Great job, everyone. Let's just roll over onto our side. Oh, someone else has heard that. And then all the way, flip onto your tummy. Take your hands under your shoulders. You're looking towards the floor. Squeeze the elbows into your ribs. Feet are together. Pubic bone pushes into the floor. Keep the head in line with the shoulders as you lift up, Woo. pressing into your hands, elbows squeezing in, squeeze the bum, lower down. So we're just lifting up onto the last set of ribs. Inhale up and down. Keep those elbows squeezing in. It's very easy to let them go. Okay. Hold it at the top. Hover the hands. Place the hands down and now push up further. So still push that pubic bone into the floor. Slide the hands to the corner of your mat. Also the arms are outstretched. Inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower down, elbows wide to the side, push up, pubic bone presses into the floor, head stays in line with the shoulders, you gaze towards the edge of the mat, three more, One more, hold it at the top. Take your left hand, place in the middle of the mat. Right hand is free. Squeeze the bum, float the right arm up and down. Up and down, two more. Keep the belly button sucked in, shoulders pressed away from the ears. Now this time, full circle, open the arm out and center one more excellent change hands left arm up and down take a break if you need to as he, i said at the beginning just do what you can three four arm circle One more. Okay, slide down. Now, take your elbows under your shoulders. Can everyone see me okay? Maybe I'll go a bit more this side. Ooh. Right. Elbows underneath your shoulders, one hand cupped around the other. We're lifting the right leg, kicking towards the bum. That belly button slightly lifted off the floor. Pubic bone pressing into the ground, shoulders away from the ears. And just look towards your hands. Three kicks on each leg. One more, and down, three, two, one, excellent. Now we're going to take our hands, 
flat on the floor, place your forehead on top of them. Stretch the right leg away and lift the leg long from the hips. And down. Same leg, float the leg up and down. Two more, float it up and down. Change sides. Extend that leg away, point the toe towards the other end of the room. Your body should be light. No tension in the shoulders. One more. Excellent. Bend the right leg. We're lifting the toe up to the ceiling and down. Lift up and down. Three more. Last one. Lower the thigh, lower the leg. Change sides. So that knees bent and that toes reach into the ceiling, lifting from the hips. Two more. Excellent. Lower the thigh, lower the leg. Let's slide the hands under the shoulders and just push back into a child's pose to stretch out that lower back there. Okay. Let's come back lying on our tummies. Have your arms in a nice cactus position. So you're lying down, your arms are like this, okay? It's a nice restful exercise. We just turn our head to face one side and lie here. That's it. This is the exercise. <laughs> Press into the hands, lift the head, turn it to the other side. Oh, hold it here. Press into the hands, lift the head, turn it to the first side. One more, lift the head and turn it to the opposite direction. Stay there. Okay, so bring the head round to the first side. We're picking up our right toes, our right foot, bending it at the knee. Lift the thigh off the ground. Twist the body, try and keep your arms on the ground as that right toe reaches behind you to touch the floor. Hello, stretch. Excellent, lift that knee with control. Guide the thigh back onto the mat. Lower the leg. Let's go again. Bend at the knee. Lift at the hip. Guide the leg over. Touch behind. Pick it up so that knee stays bent behind you. We're going for one more. Oh, my stomach just growled. And bend at the knee. Lift at the thigh. So try and reach that toe towards your left elbow. Okay, control it back. Hips face forward, lower the thigh. Lower the leg. 
Other side, turn the head the other way. Bend at the knee, lift up the thigh, reach it behind. Lift the leg, control it back down to the floor. Two more of those. Let me just check up on everyone. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Just do a time check. And then your last one, control down. Excellent. Slide the elbow, the hands under the shoulders. Push up onto all fours. Have your knees under your hips. Hands under your shoulders. Spine nice and long. Where am I? Okay. Now, tuck that in. We're just going to sink the ribs down towards the floor. Send the sit bones up to the ceiling. Look up in front. Curve. Suck that belly button in. Press the ribs to the ceiling. Push the hands into the floor. Arch that back. And down. And curve. Tuck that tailbone under. Press into the floor. Excellent. Reach up. And down. Two more, team.
excellent now this time reach forward push up onto the knees hips forward arm goes behind control down excellent reach up oh there goes a click One more. Excellent. Take both hands behind, draw the feet in front. We're just going to swing the legs side to side before we move on to the other side. Is everyone okay? Excellent, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> okay. One more, finish on the opposite side. So this time the right knee's in front, left leg behind, left arm out to the side. Twist the reach behind and open. Twist and open. Use that breath. One more. Excellent. Take her arm in front. We're pushing into the back hand. Lifting the hips up. And control down. Suck that belly button in. Lift up. And down. Two more. One more. Excellent. Draw the feet together at the front. Sit onto those sit bones. Let's wiggle those knees side to side. Excellent. Okay. Draw the knees in. You know those cushions I mentioned at the beginning? You'll need them now, or the Pilates ball. So, just stack them uh, slightly above the middle of the mat. Come seated behind. We're just going to lower ourselves over here. Keep the knees towards the ceiling, feet hip width apart. Inhale, the arms above, and then open up to a nice B shape, or actually it's a W if you include your head as one of the lines. Just relax here, let's get my position in correct. Okay, lower the arms, lift the head, reach the hands forward, look towards the tummy. Lower down, float the arms up to the ceiling, relax back, open the arms out to the side, circle them down, reach towards the heels, lift the head, lift the shoulders, look towards the tummy, and down, arms up, two more just like that, enjoy the opening back here. Circle the arms down, lift the head, reach the hands, lower down, one more, excellent, take the hands by your, above your head, okay, now we're lifting the hips slightly, press into the heels, lower down, lift the hips, lower down, draw the feet in slightly closer, that's much better for you, lift up and down, keep 
those arms nice and long. Two more. One more. Excellent. Float the arms up. Look up. Sit up. Good job team, now it's time to stretch it out. If you like, you can keep some of these cushions here to sit on, if you've got tight hips. If you don't require them, just chuck them back on the sofa. Right, so <clears throat> let's take our feet out wide to the side. Push into your hands, have them behind you, and just lift the hips off the floor. So from the side, here I am, lifting up, you can push your hands closer to your body and your legs will split further apart if you've got that range, okay, lower down, stay with the legs apart, take your arms out to the side, nice straight back, belly button in, we twist to one side, we round over, Crown of the head towards the knees. Hold on to your leg. Hold it down there, everyone. We're stretching out. Thank you. Comments about my hair. Styled it overnight. Okay. Stay folded over. Lift the head. Reach the hand. Pass the hand. The foot. And sit up. Open, sit nice and tall, push the sit bones into the ground, twist to the opposite side, chin down, curve over, try and keep that opposite hip on the ground, crown of the head towards the knee, stay down here, known as a pigeon pose. So draw your right foot in, bend it in and extend the left leg back. Sit nice and tall. If you can have your foot in a nice line with your knee but my body don't do that. Okay, find that position and right on top. We're just going to fold over wherever it's comfortable for you. So it might be here, it might be here. Or you might be flat with your head down. Hold it here. We're just going to breathe into this. If everyone or anyone out there that normally leads during the stretching, that's so bad. Stretch everyone. Stretching saves my lives. <laughs> I was going to try and think of something funny but it didn't happen. Okay. Push up. Now, for those who can, pick up that back leg. You might just hold it here. Some may be able to reach for it. Or some could hook it in their foot, in their elbow. Some may have like an awesome yoga practice and be able to take it round. Just lift up that back leg. If that is way too much for others, Come up into kneeling and do it here. Okay? We're just stretching out here. So whatever's comfortable for you. Hold it, chest open. I'll have to read the comments later, but I see them. Okay, lower that leg. Let's take it on the other side, so that left foot oh, is folded in front, right leg extended behind, find where it's comfortable for you, and hold it there. Breathe. I 
need to do a time check before I get cut off. Excellent. Push into the hand, sit up. Take hold of that back foot. Or if that's too much, remember you can come up onto a high lunge here and pick up the foot there. Or if you've got your cloth still close behind, use that to help you, okay? Keep holding. Oop. Keep holding. Excellent. Release the leg. Okay. Come back to sit on your bum. Take your left leg out in front, bend the right knee in, place the foot on your thigh. Try and draw it into the hip crease, okay? Foot in the hip crease. Arms by the side, sit nice and long, we're folding over. Oh, hello. Ouchie, ouchie. Take the arms behind your back. And just relax that head down to your knee. Flex the foot. If the foot's not up by the, the hip, it's fine just to have it slightly above the knee. Or if that's really not happening, just have it out to the side. Change legs. Draw it in. Sit tall, extend, fold over. Take the hands behind your back. Hold it down here, keep breathing. behind your body. Push up the hips, drop the knees forward. Press the hips towards the ceiling, squeeze the shoulders behind. Look down towards your belly button. Lower down, push up. And down, one more, push up. Lower down, lift the knees up, walk the hands in. Send the hips up to the ceiling. Stand hip width apart. Just hang it over your body. Release any tension in the jaw. Bend the knees. And stretch. Bend. And stretch, one more. Excellent, take your hands to the ground. Step those feet wider apart. So sink that body down, feel like your head can touch the floor. Some of you, your head may actually touch the floor. In my case, it would just be my hair. <laughs> take it down. Pull up the knees and just reach towards your ankles. Keep the weight over your toes. Don't rock back onto your heels. Okay, so we're not here. We're here. Bend the knees. Turn the heels in. Lift up. Push onto your knees and take a nice sumo position. Rock side to side. Three, two, one. Excellent. Come up. Draw the feet in. Bend down. Crouch to the floor. 
Extend the right leg out. Turn the toes to the ceiling. Turn the left knee out and reach forward. Feel that stretch in your calves, your Achilles, your ankles, your hips. Walk up. Push into the left toes, sit tall, reach over. Some of you at home might be thinking, is she crazy? I can't do this. You can. Just do your best. Even if you're here, eventually, in a few weeks to come, after quarantine, you'll be like bending in all positions. Okay, come up. Draw that right knee in. Send the left leg out. Reach forward. Okay. Lift up, chest lifted, push into that right toe. Reach up and over. Nice side stretch. Hold it here. Excellent. Come up. Draw both feet together. Just sit down on the mat. Feet out in front. Push through the sit bones. Suck the belly button in. Find that space in the waist. Lift up and fold over. Drop that head down, breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, stay folded over, just lift the head, lift the chest, flex the feet, inhale, and drop the head, roll up through the spine, draw the knees in. And give yourself a big clap, everyone. I'm going to finish there. It's almost quarter past ten. Thank you once again for joining me today for our little mobility class. I'll be back on Saturday morning for some Pilates. Have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe, all that shazam. I don't know what, but blessed be. Oh, now I've got to awkwardly <laughs> cut the film. <laughs>